Neoclass bipedi butcha. Throughout Earth's history, some small clades of animals exploded in diversity and specialization in ways no one would have expected. Like birds, bipedal, warm-blooded reptiles that evolved feathers, beaks and flight. Very drastic in biology to their basal reptile ancestors. And yet it happened, giving Earth an entirely new class of animals. And so, it happened again, this time with the family Ceratophryidae, known also as Pac-Man frogs. Over thousands of years, this clade evolved into a more active and better land-dweller animal. Their permeable skin was abandoned for a more rigid, multi-layered dermis, able to better retain moisture and explore land like other fully terrestrial vertebrates. With this new land to explore, they began elongating their hind limbs and relocating them underneath their body turning them into better weight bearers while also enabling faster, more intensive locomotion. Their legs kept on relocating closer to the center of mass of their body, allowing them to become bipedal. Over time they completely lost their four limbs, having no need for them since their large mouths allowed them to catch everything they needed. All of these new locomotion and predation lifestyles came with the consequence of a higher metabolic demand, so they became warm-blooded. And this is how Earth ended up with the bipedi bushans, which translates to two-legged mouths of which the current representatives are the grub dogs, coliforms, bread bugs, penseriforms, and the basal crush flats, spheria. Neo-order coliforms, the warm-bloodedness bipedi bushans evolved had the secondary benefit of allowing them to access a nocturnal predator niche. Being able to perform high-intensity activity during the cold nights, this saw the rise of the coliforms, whose eyes enlarged drastically and evolved to be positioned in high stalks, giving them a better sight and a larger range to spot prey at night. The current representatives of this neo-order are land grub dogs, Maculoidea, and water grub dogs, Ichthyosoidea. Red Bulborb the bulb orb has become somewhat of an icon of current Earth. They've become fully cosmopolitan, achieving a wide range throughout all continents. And there are a lot of traits this massive success can be attributed to. Firstly, their development cycle. Bulb orbs in the genus Oculus are capable of undergoing extreme anatomical transformations that turn them into massive breeders. Under specific environmental conditions, any bulb orb can change sexes and become an extremely enlarged female, known as an empress. In this state, they can dedicate their life to accumulate fat and asexually reproduce, giving birth through ovoviviparity to large numbers of progeny. A well-fed empress can give birth to more than 500 larvae. This particular adaptation ensures populations can survive tough seasons, population crashes, and lack of mates. Empress Bulborb. The metamorphosis bulborbs go through to become an empress comes with a lot of additional anatomical features. Even though the lungs and circulatory systems are still in place and do get slightly bigger, it isn't sufficient to supply the large blubbery body with enough oxygen. So they develop a kind of spiracle, similar in shape and function to those in a caterpillar, though these structures are evolved from amphibian gills turned outside in. These holes suck in air and filter oxygen throughout the whole body, allowing the creature to have an oxygen supply spread equitably among its body parts. Another anatomical development unique to this form is a womb-like organ where an empress can store several eggs at a time. This organ is multi-chambered, separating the early eggs from the later eggs, so that as soon as they hatch they'll be able to leave the empress body and hunt for small creatures. Bulborb larva the bulborb larva, just like the tadpoles of their ancestors, lack limbs. Their anatomy has been adapted through pedomorphosis to allow them to slide through the ground like grubs. They can hunt for themselves in this stage of life, though this behavior is only seen in larvae laid by empress bulborbs. If born from regular bulborb parents, the larva will stay in its egg until they grow legs. The hatching period of these eggs is much longer, and requires more attention from the parents, but as soon as they hatch they'll have a much higher rate of survival than their early hatching counterparts. This plasticity of development is not unique to bulb orbs. Many microscopic animals like Clodocerans employ this method as well, but this is the first instance of a vertebrate doing so. There's a species of brood parasite bread bug that mimics young bulb orbs. 
Taxonomy Kingdom, Animalia, Phylum, Chordata, Class, Amphibia, Superorder, Petrachia, Order, Anura, Family, Ceratophryidae, Neoclass, Bipedibutia, Neosubclass, Chapia, Neosuperorder, Bulbusia, Neoorder, Colla, Coliforms, Neosuperfamily, Maculoidea, Neofamily, Chapidae, Neosubfamily, Terrarostrumini, Genus, Oculus, Species, Rusus, 